So when you overcome certain trials, God will trust you to go to another class. Hallelujah. Amen. You will become qualified, qualified to go to another class. You will have qualification to go to another class in the spiritual realm. So trials are brought by God when he wants to take you to a higher position, to a higher class, to a higher, uh, higher ground. Hallelujah. God tested the children of Israel. That is what he said. That I tested the children of Israel 40 years in the wilderness. I tested them. Why was God testing them with the trials? Why was he bringing those battle and he was bringing sickness? He was bringing those things against them. He was just testing them. He was trying them. Why? Because he wanted them to be given another level. He wanted them to qualify to go to the promised land. Hallelujah. Amen. They were living uh, like refugee. They were living like refugee. They were living uh, without rest. But God tested them because he wanted to give them rest. Hallelujah. Amen. They were in a class called without rest. But God said trials to give them a class called rest, the promised land. So God uses trials so that he may use those trials to give you the promised land. Hallelujah. Amen. To give you what you are about to, uh, uh, to what you are praying for. To give you that thing that you are, uh, you, you are desiring. With a godly desire. Hallelujah. Amen. So trials, they are for God. And they are uh, for testing you if you are qualified to go to another level. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Amen. For you to become a doctor, for you to become a nurse, for you to become a driver, you must be tested with a trial. You must be tested with a trial. If you, are, you want to become a driver, you will be tested. You will be tested by inspector. Uh, inspector will come and he will test you if you are qualified to become a real driver. But if you are not tested, you will become a fake driver. Hallelujah. Amen. That is why it is so important for us that when we are tested with the trials by God, let us overcome them so that we may be qualified to become men of God. We may be qualified to become the children of God and so that we may be qualified to be given, to be given and to be trusted with the powers of God. Hallelujah. Amen. With the anointing of God. Amen. Amen. You see people, they want to be anointed, they want to be blessed, they want to preach, they want to do many things, but they don't want to be tested. If you are not tested, if you not go, if you don't go through wilderness, how can you produce the qualification that you are being molded through wilderness? Hallelujah. Amen. God takes you in the wilderness, wilderness of suffering, wilderness of racking, wilderness of rejection, wilderness of persecution, wilderness of battles, wilderness whereby you fight. You fight, you fight. And during the time that you are fighting, God is molding you. God is, God is, uh, uh, is shaping you. He's shaping you. He's shaping your future. He's shaping your tomorrow through trials, through wilderness. He's shaping you. He's molding you to bring the characters of your tomorrow, of whom you are. But if you, don't, if, if you reject or if you free away from the trials, then you will not be qualified. 